Today we're going to do a godly play story. So I need you to get ready, whatever that is that you do. I think by now everyone knows their own thing, but whether they need to take some deep breaths or close their eyes or run around the house or whatever they have to do to get ready. But I think you remember when we first talked about godly play, how important it is to be ready, to look in the mirror like you're coming into the room and to know that you're ready to hear a story, something that God wants to tell you. That's why we get ready. So I just thought I'd remind you of that. Anyways, today, let's start. I think you probably already noticed what I have here next to me. It's gold. We've been doing a lot of these, haven't we? It's gold and it looks like a present and it has a top and sometimes you have to keep coming back and knock on it and keep hearing the story over and over before you really understand it. So I don't even think we need to go through all that today. But today, the name of the story that we're doing is the mustard seed. So I don't know how many of you know what a mustard seed is, but you probably know what mustard is. You've probably had that on something, maybe 4th of July. But a mustard seed is the tiniest seed that you can imagine. You can hardly even see it. But that is the basis of our parable today. So Jesus gave us our parables as a gift over 2,000 years ago. And we're still talking and telling them now because they're very important. And it helps us understand too what he told the people the kingdom of God was all about. So we have the same, the same stories. So I'm gonna begin in a minute. So sit back and relax and we will start the story. Once there was someone who said such amazing things and did such wonderful things that people began to follow him. As they followed, he told them about a kingdom, the kingdom of heaven. But they didn't know what a kingdom was like that. They had never heard of such a place. They didn't know anyone who had. They didn't even know where it was. So one day they simply had to ask him, what is the kingdom of heaven like? And he said, the kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed, the tiniest seed that there is. And when someone plants the seed, It begins to grow. And grow. And grow. There's a branch. And grow. Another branch and grow and grow now the birds of the air started to come to the tree and sit on its branches they had some place to go After a while, some of them made their nests in the tree.
Now I wonder if you would like to put the nests and birds in the tree too. I wonder if these birds have names. I wonder how the birds feel about this tree. I wonder where the birds were coming from. I wonder if the birds were happy. I wonder how many birds could really live in that tree. I wonder if this tree could be put back into the seed after it's already grown. I wonder what this tree could really be. I wonder what this whole place could really be.